Hi there, Tasha Lanigan from designhousedigital.com. Um, I'm bringing you today um, a tutorial on clipping masks. So last week I did um, layer masks and um, thanks for the comments from uh, Leia Boston and Mary Shaw about the clipping mask method or the alt click method as uh, we're calling it in the blog. Um, so I think this is a fantastic method. I only learned it myself uh, a few weeks ago and it's amazing for uh, using in templates and um, I'm using these um, uh, fabulous templates by Mary Mosley uh, photo story template set 2 and the one I'm using is this one here and the our new collab this week which is the Dazzle collab by um, Courtney Tia and Candy and I'm using Courtney's um, journaling cards and um, her papers Okay, so into Photoshop, and I already have the photo story template open, and I have uh, a piece of paper, a journaling card, and a photo. So I, you know, I just wanted to do a few things. So the first thing we're going to do is arrange this layout into four up. Okay, and I just find this is kind of easier to, um, you know, get things around and and work it out. So we go into the template and they're all, Mary has them all uh, numbered here, so one, two, three, four, so it's quite easy to work out. Um, I'm going to put, I'm going to start with um, this paper here and I'm going to put it in um, number six. So what I need to do first anyway is um, make sure I'm on my move tool, which is V shortcut key, um, or you just click over there. And then you just simply drag and drop that paper in. And that's dragged it onto the bottom, but that's fine. That's no problem. Um, what we need to do now is just drag that up to the top and actually drag it over to above number six because I want that piece of paper to be part of six. I'm actually going to resize it down because I like the, the, the pattern on the paper. I want it to be taking up the whole square like that then press enter to um, accept those changes. Now, this is the method. So we hold down the Alt key, which on a Mac or a PC is the same. And you'll see there that your uh, cursor change, your hand changes to a piece of paper with a line, with an arrow. And you need to hover between the layer that you want to use and the mask that you're using. And you have the the image that you want on top of it um, and then you hover between the two and you'll see there that it changes and then you just click and that's it it's that easy and th this is um, a really really fabulous method for getting stuff done uh, really quickly and the other thing that's really cool about this is now that that's all masked um, I'll go back in here you can resize that and it will stay masked so you, you should be able to see that. Um, so as I said, I want this roughly the size of the square that I'm using. So that's uh, that should be okay. Press enter again. So that's fine. That's that paper. And then you can very quickly build um, your photos and your in your in your papers and your backgrounds this way. So I'm going to drag this one in. We'll just stick it in anywhere for the moment. So I want this one over this square here, which would be number nine. So I'm just going to put it over there, roughly where I want it. And then I need to drag this layer on top of number nine, like so. And I want that to be in the corner like that. So that's fine. And then same again, hold down your Alt key and you'll see it change the cursor change and then just click uh, when you're doing transformations you need to hold down the shift key so it does it proportionately in Photoshop I know in elements you don't need to do that um, so yeah about that size grand and then the photos are the same so drag that in um, we'll have that one in Number seven, so we'll just pop that up here. 
and hold down shift key I like to kind of position it roughly and get it roughly where I want it so that when you mask it you don't lose it and then hold down the alt key in between the layers and click so we'll need to resize that a bit more okay and that's it so that's all there is to using the alt click method um, and the good thing is is that the um, it's non-destructive as with the other method so um, it's it's um, it's clipped it but it's um, actually these are called clipping masks um, but it's it's still all there so you can still see it all um, and you can resize it and move it about within your mask area um, one thing that you, you want so if I wanted to add a <clears throat> a drop shadow uh, to this image um, if I add it to the image double click to bring up the layer styles palette and click drop shadow now I've you'll see here that it hasn't applied it so what you need to do is apply it to the mask yeah, drop shadow and there you can see it now it's come up um, or what I quite often use is inner shadow and that gives that effect of making it look like the white paper has, is, is above and has been cut out on top so that looks like that's on top of the photo. Okay, so that's a very quick tutorial on how to do the alt click method. Uh, add your comments um, on the blog and uh, thanks for watching.